Here's a hilarious story. It says, Trump's spiritual advisor, Jesus would have been sinful if he broke immigration laws. So we're going to be, this is building off something that Jeff Sessions said, which he said that, uh, that his policy, his zero tolerance policy was actually biblical because uh, it says that the government is ordained by God, which is hilarious because I don't think they realize that they're like disproving their own Bible there. Because when you make that claim, that means that any government that's created that you don't like is biblical, which means that why would, why would your God have the USSR, for example, where fucking millions of people are being slaughtered? Like, why would that happen? And also what that means is if he, if they're being, if people who would revolt against some, uh, any situation that you're in, it means you can't revolt. You can't revolt. So if it's a fascist dictatorship or, you know, it's a fucking insanely authoritarian communistic government, you're not able to revolt because that's not biblical, which is, I don't think they understand. It's like a self dunk on, but obviously, I mean, they don't care about that. Here's what's hilarious though. So I'm going to read you guys. Some of this it says president Trump's spiritual advisor, Paula White uh, said this week that Jesus would have been sinful and quote, would not have been our Messiah if he had broken immigration laws. White, who recently toured an immigrant detention center in Virginia, said during an interview with the Christian Broadcasting Network on Monday that there was a difference between the immigrants being detained for illegally entering the U.S. and Jesus being a refugee in Egypt. The Gospel of Matthew describes Jesus and his parents Mary and Joseph fleeing to Egypt uh, shortly after Jesus' birth to escape King Herod, who sought to kill the infant. So first of all, that would mean that... Uh, you should support giving refuge to refugees who need help because that's what Jesus did, you know? So that that should be what it is. But here's the thing is that there was no distinction at that time of illegal or legal, and that's the thing. And this is something that Dinesh D'Souza got into an argument with, uh, well, because I don't remember who, what, oh, it was a historian who brought up that the Republican platform was to um, help uh, native or naturalized Im uh, immigrants and Dinesh D'Souza says, hold on, they say legal though. And then Kevin M. Cruz, who's an actual historian, comes back at him and says, hey, there was no distinction between legal or illegal. There was no, uh, you know, immigration laws put into place at that time. So, you know, <laughs> there was no distinction. So if there's no distinction, then how could you make that distinction? It doesn't make any sense because you're saying that, oh, if he was illegal, but there was no distinction. There was no distinction, but either way, though, if you know, with this story, you should be someone who is pro giving refuge to people who need refuge, because that's clearly what happened in the Bible. So I'm just confused as to how how those two can coexist. But again, I want to repeat to you that a lot of these supposed evangelicals and Christians are frauds. Um, and I want to be fair. Pope Francis seems to be the one guy who's like the most legit person to follow the Bible. Obviously, the Bible is insane. It has a lot of crazy shit. All religious books do, right? And so you don't want them to follow any of that. But like the good parts of it, the good parts, I feel like Pope Francis follows that probably the best. He came out against a zero tolerance policy. And he's someone who's done a lot of voicing of, you know, uh, different, different rational voicing of, you know, defense of religion and things like that and defending things like that.